Welcome back. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. Okay, so today's theme is spruce up the place. I love it. <laughs> so Dr. Lori, is there a story behind this theme? I mean, are all these items, you know, they add a little magic to the home? These were the types of things that in the late 19th and early 20th century, you would vie for. You would say, oh, I can't wait to get this, or I'm going to save up for that. So we're going to spruce up the place. Well, and I know these uh, wooden secretary cabinets have come back in. So yeah. I don't know if they ever truly went out. It's really, they're really nice pieces. And this one was sent in to us by Carrie. So let's take a look. It's beautiful. You know what's nice about these pieces? There's a lot of classical elements to it. Look at those nice pilasters, some scrolled feet. The writing surface is slanted, so you see it, it looks like it slants inward. That actually folds out, and you can sit in front of those three drawers and write your letters and yeah. such. Um, some nice leaded glass, and also a curved glass, or what's called a glazed panel door, a glass panel door like that. This is a very nice cabinet. Uh, late 19th century, very typical. And what's nice about these is they're diminutive. They're not overly huge, like a big china hutch. Right. Yeah, you get a lot of bang for your buck out of these. What do you I, think, ladies? I don't... Should I ask you the question that David would ask? Okay. Is it oak? <laughs> very, very good question. That is Indeed, good question. it is oak. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm. All right, I... Solid hardwoods. It looks like a beautiful solid piece. Solid hardwoods are used it, in different periods. And oak is very, very commonly used in the early 1900s. All right, what do okay, you think? Are since, you ready? Uh, I am, and I, I'm assuming <laughs> since it's hardly used that it's in good condition. So I did yes. 1600. That might be cray cray. I said 1800. It's a nice piece of furniture. So we're. You guys are great. That's exactly close. $1,500 is wow. worth it. Wow. So we were both very over. Close, but does yeah, that we are mean both... it's a wash? No, no, no. Daisy gets the point. <laughs> Ooh. And uh, next up, we have a framed fan sent in by Janet. Don't worry, Daisy. Heather is excellent at keeping score. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm writing it down. This piece, <laughs> this piece is a framed fan with lace. It is the Fete Galant, which is the term for the outdoor party or picnic uh, made made famous in the 1870s in France because King Louis the 15th was having a lot of fun a lot of parties textile painted there's some lace on it it's 24 by 13 it has a custom made frame so don't forget framing can be very expensive mm. and painted um, a typical ladies fan uh, what is this from exactly the fan itself looks back to the 1740s, 1750s in its subject matter, but in fact, it it dates to about 1880, 1890. Wow. So is that like Bridgerton time? And then the frame, frame is new. The frame <laughs> is probably from the 1970s oh, or 80s. Okay. Um, Ew, God, oh, you never had hard. anything like this before. This is no, very that's unusual. Hard. This is not easy. What do you think? We have a so think about there. the frame having value. $8 million, Eight? Oh. he says. You will um, really not be on prices, yeah, right? <laughs> okay. I, I. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. I just. I said six fifty. Mm -hmm. I said $300. $400 is what it's worth. Wow. Well, a Daisy, lot of value you are in the good at this game. game. I know. I told Heather and earlier, I was like, piece. I haven't lost yet with you, Dr. Lori. So well, <laughs> maybe my winning streak will continue. We, we missed what you said. What was the last thing that you said, Dr. Lori? I'm sorry. I was talking over you. I apologize. I was, I was just saying that there's value in the custom framing, and then it's a rare piece. You don't see them every day. So Absolutely. collectors pay a lot for them because they can't get them easily. Right. Okay, uh, last up, we have a clock set sent in by Vicki. Oh. So clock sets, clock sets can be anything. They can be two candlesticks, two vases with a clock and such. This one is a typical Edwardian clock. That means it dates to the early 1900s. It's made by Jennings Brothers two urn style vases with the clock in the center. Typically what happens is they get separated, but in the early 1900s, they would have been right next to each other and you would never dare separate them in a Victorian home. Uh, mm. What do you think they're worth as a set? Gosh, So I is know. the urn used? By, like for its purpose no, of what a typical urn would be? Or no, no, no ashes in the urn. Okay, typically, just make... it's just the form of the urn, but would be used for, for flowers. So typically, just decoration. Next to the okay, clock. okay. Um, yep. I don't know if this is too low. I have no idea. 
You could leave them without flowers. Like my mother wasn't a big flower person, so she yeah. probably wouldn't put flowers in them. But a lot of other people might say, "Oh, I want to put flowers in them." Yes, just depends. Spru okay. To spruce up the house. All right, I said three twenty-five. Oh, I went a little lower. Two hundred. Three hundred and twenty-five is the value of the set. Oh my God! Well, at least I'm on the board. That is amazing. <laughs> that Good was a job. lot of fun. Really, really interesting items this yes, week, Dr. Yes, that was Lori. so cool. Yeah. Well, you have interesting stuff when you spruce up the house. Well, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Well, thank you so much as thank always, you. Dr. Lori. My pleasure. We'll see you next week. Great seeing you. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com, and maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. It's always so much it fun. Is.